Well, hi guys. It is Sunday, July the 10th. Uh, and it's amazing what happens when you get a little rain. Uh, I planted this field June the 21st. And we went from literally wet, wet, wet to it turned popcorn fart dry. And the 6th of July and the 7th, we got a bunch of rain. And look at all them little beanie weenies coming up out there. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> it's starting to get a lot greener now. I'm amazed. Truly amazed. Uh, you know, I was starting to really want worry about this. Because, well, quite frankly, they've been in the ground for, let's see, 21st, 9, 10, 19 days, uh, 15 days, two weeks in the ground before they got any rain on them. It was that dry. And now I'm starting to see the little lines of green down through there were filling in where other beans have already come up just amazes you simply amazing so I <laughs> was thinking this front part of the field may get written off and work back up and I'll plant wheat in it well We'll just wait and see, give it a few more days and see what it looks like. Um, you know, supposed to get rain tomorrow, several more days this week, so they may have a fighting chance now. I haven't ventured back to the woods to see what the backfield looks like, but what I see from the point on, doesn't look too bad. I'm just amazed, literally, how much drier this was up here, how much drier it got, than, you know, back there. And it's like the beans down there in the corner that I planted the following Saturday uh, a few days, well, four days later, five days later, whatever it was, that uh, I couldn't plant the first time because it was too wet to get in that corner. Then I got them planted, and a bunch of them came up, but a lot of them didn't. Well, now they're coming up. So, may get a field of beans out of this yet. Uh, and it's funny look at something uh, of course you know up there you can see uh, where the trees suck the moisture out and there's no trees between here this patch right here and then you get here and you know exactly what this is it's from the trees sucking all the moisture out but down there, it's dry. You can walk on it, no problem. You go out from it, step, you'll sink. And this front corner up here, where them dead trees are, it's the same way. It's dry. It's usually the first place it dries, then just past them trees, that'll dry. Then this gets dried up real quick afterwards. But there's a lot of little beanie weenies coming on. So there's hope for them yet. 
uh, kind of in the just gotta wait and see <laughs> uh, what happens I guess this I'm I'm telling you this this year's been a struggle to get was a struggle to get the beans planted because there was exactly two times to get the ground worked up. Uh, the first time was I plowed the back field, plowed the front field up here. Next day, of course, I had to wait on fuel. Next day, I got the back field once over and this whole field once over and finished up in the rain and then it was 19th 20th of June before I get back on you go from the middle of May to the last of June middle of June just say and it tried it turned dry dry enough that all the corn including this next door was it was everybody's corn was starting to curl and those 90 degree days was not helping things either 90 plus degree days where it feels like it's 105 110 degrees out so, for those to sit in the ground for 20 days, 19, 20 days, and then finally come up, that's a miracle in itself. It just shows how dry it was when I planted them. You had enough moisture out there to sprout some, but not sprout the whole field. So I'm happy to see rain. <laughs> uh, we just didn't need it in the form of a tornado. Oh yeah, that was a the tornado that went through Goshen. They said was an EF2, uh, and there was one that they said was reported at Fayetteville was an EF1. Uh, they're talking these were two different tornadoes, but I got a suspicion they merged together. Or they ran together and they, it changed it. Uh, I know the one that hit over by my house was strong enough to take barn sheet metal several hundred yards from the building and when you start taking three foot diameter trees plus you know three foot plus diameter trees and uprooting them that takes a lot of wind uh, yeah that takes a bunch of wind I'm just that glad it didn't come up through here. Well, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm calling it a day. This is my first day off, <laughs> you might say. Uh, it's Sunday, and I've been babysitting a generator since Thursday. And uh, that ain't wasn't no fun. Especially when every hour on the hour, you got to shut the thing off and put gas in it. That makes for a long day. So, we'll see you next time, guys. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, this is farming in southwest Ohio. You just never know what you're going to get. Literally. Because... <laughs> 
you just never know what our what the weather is going to do around here. So we'll see you next time, guys. I got I still got hope here. I'm seeing lots more coming up, so I got hope still. We'll see you next time, guys.